All right, convincing victory by the Mexican national team and Jimmy Lozano also. A lot of questions regarding the manager and his position. Uh, there's clearly one moment when we thought this was going to be a closer game, tighter yeah. game. In the end, Mexico with those two goals in the final five minutes of the first half made things easier for them in the second half. Yeah, there was a stretch between minute 30 to 30. 38 40 maybe where Panama turned things around yep. and yep. they were taking it to Mexico and you're like whoa wait a second this this does not look promising for, for Mexico uh, but then they score and once they scored the first goal which was really surprising came off a set piece in the way that Panama just playing a very high line after that Mexico picked them apart listen Mexico had more possess or sorry Panama had more possession 57 percent Panama had more passes together Panama had more shots okay and Panama also had more corners uh that's by design with the Mexican national team. I thought it was Especially brilliant. Especially with the lead. I thought, it, half, I thought yeah, it was for brilliant sure. by Jimmy Lozano. Jimmy Lozano said, go ahead and have the ball yeah, because I know I'm going to invite you in my road to drop a and I'm going to take advantage in transition. And he picked him apart in transition. True, but we were also questioning, are they going to let Panama back into the game? Because yeah. after that first 25 minutes, then it looked like, okay, that Mexico was going to, to be more dominant then stay more dominant without making dumb decisions defensively. If, if Panama has a great play that gets them back into the game, fantastic. But don't give them a chance or two. Yeah. You, there was a couple times you were watching the game and you're going, why are you trying to play out of the back there? Why are you doing this? Yeah, yeah. And then, obviously, you know, when – look look at this way. Memo made bigger saves than Blake. Yeah, right. Look, at, look so, at the amount of shots by Panama. 17 yeah, shots, five on goal. Some of them were very speculative. Yes. Right. Now, yes. but when you when you there's, add, there's really only one big save from Memo, and he did everything else. It was like you expect Memo to make those plays, uh, but I think this is by design with the Mexican yeah. national team. I, I, and this is for people to understand how against their DNA this is. This is Jimmy Lozano now understanding, I gotta win. I got to do what it takes. I have this type of player. You have a Julian Quinones, you have a Uriel Antuna, you have a Henry Martin, who maybe have more physical traits and are more fast and vertical. You can play a different style. You have a Luis Chavez with a good left peg who can play these things. And you got a shot stopper right now. Listen, I was one of the guys saying the generational shift, the generational it's, shift it's coming. Right here on Tuesday. Yeah. And this is a big boy performance from Mochoa, and it puts a lot of those doubters in their place today for the time being. Casey, he had that one moment of hesitation in the first half. He didn't probably attack the ball right. the right way, but then those saves in the second half, what did Memo Choa prove to you tonight? Well, I mean, we, we talked about it on Tuesday that I always felt that Memo at times overachieved for the national team. And this was another situation where there's question marks, but when he needed to, for the national team, he was able to come up with the big save to make the game more comfortable yeah than it possibly could have been. Three now looks like, oh, it was super comfortable, but we know it wasn't as comfortable as the score line showed at the end of the match. There were also a couple of chances by Chucky Lusano. Correct. Who entered the pitch around the 65th minute. Um, he looked like he lacked confidence because Mexico could have really put that game to sleep. You know, I don't, I don't know if Easy. it's overconfidence or just over eager because he looked like he was just chomping at the bit and he was anxious. Oh, the opposite, lack of confidence. Well, you, well, there's a combo. Yeah, it could be a, a massive <laughs> yeah, combo, a but, combo. But there's that chance where he has a 1v1 with the goalkeeper yeah. and he's got much more time. The, the, the center back, the last defender literally has to bring you down in order for you not to shoot that. You can take another touch. You can right. you can lead into goal. Give yourself do you, a better when do you angle. Take a touch, or you take a touch when you're full of confidence yes. and you know the ball's going the way I want it to right. go. But it almost looked like he was waiting for yeah. the goal. Oh, please dive the wrong way right. so I can make the decision easier because if I'm forced to make the decision, I don't know if I'm going to make the right one in the end. And, it was and, a and I understand save. it, Casey. He's, he's not exactly been playing well for PSV. He's not been playing well for the national mm. team in probably four years. Yeah. The guy who starts over you, Julian Quinones, scores a goal. Uh, I can see him being over eager. I can and see him being anxious, wanting to get right. that. But yeah. then afterwards, when maybe it would have been the better option to pass, 
he was forcing the shot to say, yeah, I can score. Right. I can show you yeah, I can yeah. score in this so situation. There was an overlapping run for That Andy was Martin. that forcing yeah. part that you were saying that maybe then he was over anxious to try to prove something when maybe playing a teammate in was the better option. We'll discuss in a moment Jimmy Lozano's uh, tough decisions with the starting 11. 95% of it, we thought it was exactly what we had. But there was one call, one decision that probably was also very helpful for the, for the team. Now let's go to the game-changing moment because, yes, Herc is right. This is not your typical Mexico victory right. in CONCACAF. It is the goalkeeper making good saves. It is not dominating possessions. It is direct ball, long balls, and KC set pieces. Set pieces. Yeah, exactly. You know, where, you know the, the times... You know, when I played against Mexico, you expected this possession based mm -hmm. through midfield and then breaking you down with quick one two touch passing and, and, and quick balls across the six yard box for strikers and, and midfielders coming in late. And no, it was coming from deeper possessions, hitting balls over the top, winning set pieces, and then looking extremely dangerous off of those set piece opportunities. Can I tell you why it's a game changing moment? It's Please. not just because it's the goal that changed the complexion of the game, but this was at Panama's height. This was the moment where Panama was playing its best football, right. minute 30 to 40. They were playing their best football, and then comes this goal. And after that, it, they just took control of the game. They managed the game beautifully. I, I don't think Jimmy Lozano's got enough credit. Today will get enough credit for, for what he did. But, Tomas Christensen is a very good coach. Yeah. How many times have we said the best work team in this region has been Panama? He made Panama look like the Panama of old. But now what I would say was it looked more comfortable after the memo save because there was that point in the second half at 2-0 where I thought there was a couple little chances right. That Panama gave, yeah, one themselves, goal brings them right back gave themselves an opportunity to get right back into it. They didn't take the chance. But what I love seeing is a team where, yes, maybe there was a, a reaction from Panama. Yeah. And their goalkeeper was able to make the save. And then the adjustments as Panama had to push more numbers forward to try to get back into the game, Mexico punished them on the counter. I mean, Edson Alves scores the goal. Uh, but what's more important to me is the way they – made a player like Adalberto Carrasquilla look Oh, my pedestrian. God, yeah. He's yeah. been one of the better players in this region. He was maybe the best player during the Gold Cup last year. Easily the best player during the yeah. Gold Cup, and he looked pedestrian today. He looked pedestrian in his passing. He had one or two very good passes where he's bringing players mm -hmm. through, but you can see how frustrated he was. You can see how out of sorts he was. I think Edson Alvarez in that midfield with Luis Chavez next to him did very, very well. That left foot of Luis Chavez yeah. is becoming a very, very dangerous weapon yeah. in favor of the Mexican national team. We all remember the goal he scored against Saudi Arabia in the World Cup yeah. and now assisting in set pieces. That guy is special. He plays in Russia. We don't see <laughs> we don't we don't see him playing a well, lot. The free kick but you can tell that he's in great that form. Here. Right. Exactly. But it but it's 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 something that you can count on when you're not at your best. It's something that always gives you an opportunity to make a scoreline look more comfortable when you're not necessarily creating out of the run of play. When you're good at set pieces, it's such a huge advantage. Yeah. It, it allows you sometimes not to be at your best. And Mexico, they, they haven't been at their best recently.